Hello guys and welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Let's play on the PlayStation 3. This is part 9 I believe and now we are going to outpost L51 Planet Sargasso. So here we are at this very interesting looking planet. Looks very interesting. So firstly we're going to stock up on our ammo. Use some of our Rayuritanium, which we've got quite a lot of actually, so we can use a lot of it on the bus plates, because I love the bus plates. And now let's talk to the smuggler. Oh hey there, friend. You know it looks like these here launch pads are out of go juice, you know what I'm saying? This decryptor can get him going again, but I couldn't part with it unless... Let me guess. We find some more Leviathan souls? Bop! He's a wise guy! Bop! So, we need to um, get some more souls for the smuggler to buy a gadget from him. So now we need to go hunting. Yeah, that's what we need to do. And this always takes some time. But it's not Leviathan this, this time. Uh, they kind of look like um, dinosaurs, kind of. Always when I think about this planet, I think about, oh, Sargasso, that's the dinosaur planet. I don't know if they're supposed to be dinosaurs, but they really resemble dinosaurs, especially the huge one in the background. Like, that is a dinosaur. So I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be dinosaurs. Um, and if they're not supposed to be dinosaurs, then I will probably sound really stupid right about now. But I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be dinosaurs. Like, what else are they supposed to be? Yay, the bus plates are version 3. Perfect. So... I know it's been like over a month or like two months or whatever it has been since I last uploaded a video. So I apologize about that. Um, but you know, it's because um, I said this in previous parts like, yeah, I have other things to do now. Like, and I don't really have that much time to make videos, so I make them when I have the time. And also, if I don't feel like making them, then, then I won't make them. I will only make them if I feel like it, of course. But I definitely felt like making one now, so that's why I'm doing it. It's a Friday night, and I'm spending it making a video. I'm not out. Yeah, making a video for you guys on Friday night. That's dedication. So yeah, I, I kind of also I kind of felt like I should make a video because I have like this whole Let's Play filmed and I also have the entire Quest for Booty filmed as well. So I kind of felt like I should upload that like um, uh, because then it would have been it would have been quite stupid if I'd spent all that time recording all of this and then I didn't get anything out from out of it by uploading it. So then, um, yeah. So I felt like I had to upload it since I've spent so much time recording it. And also, it's fun to make videos when you're in the mood for it. And I was. So there we go. Oh, there's another one of those huge dinosaur-looking things. These ones kind of look a bit different from dinosaurs, but it's kind of the same thing still. And yeah, I'm using Mr. Sucron. Sucron, Sucron. Do you say Sucron or Sucron? I prefer Mr. Sucron in um, A Kraken Time. But he's good in this game too, like, uh, he's good. I can't remember if he's seen uh, Quest for Booty. Don't remember. We'll see when. Uh, I get to that. That's why. 
guess I will be uploading that after Tools of Destruction. And also I kind of felt like doing another game. I'm not going to say which one, but um, if I do it, then you will see. So um, yeah, I'm just going to, like, I'm not going to like plan, or I might do loading videos and stuff like that, who knows. Yeah, I might make one voting video actually, uh, but I kind of just feel like like just doing the games that I want to do and then just upload them. But we'll see what I decide to do. So, am I missing something or not? I don't know if I am. We'll take a look around. Look at that huge one. You can actually land on top of those huge ones uh, when we use uh, the um, the wings later. I can't remember the name. As I've said in the previous parts of this last fight, like I can't remember many of the names of like the gadgets, the items, weapons. Like I can in the three first ones. I remember much more from those three, especially the first one, since that is um, my, like. It's arguably my favorite video game of all time. I don't really play that much video games, but I used to in my childhood, and that is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorites. So what am I doing? Like, what am I looking for? You guys know I do post commentary. I'm not doing the commentary when I film. So I'm actually quite... Um, Unsure of what I'm looking for right now. Like, what am I doing? I'm not sure at all. I probably have enough souls to go to the smuggler, so we'll do that. Yeah. It's called the decryptor. There we have it. Now, I usually don't like, uh, like, yeah. The gadgets that we get in Russian Fang that kind of like they're kind of um, gadgets that you use to solve like puzzles. I like the one in Russian Fang one. I didn't really like the ones in Russian Fang two, and I definitely didn't like the hacker in Russian Fang three. This one is okay. I think it's just okay. It's not one of my favorites. Like I don't like any of them really. Um, but it's okay. So now we can use the Robo Wings, use the six axes, and follow the Sony. I really love the Sony actually. I will probably do Crack in Time. Probably like, yeah, in the autumn, like after the summer. I will probably do that. But yeah, I love the Sony. I think they're so cute, and I can't wait to like see more of them in a Crack in Time. Because a Crack in Time is basically about. The Sony and uh, Clank, and of course Ratchet. Uh, but but now I'm not going to say too much about that. I don't want to spoil the game for those of you who haven't uh, played it before. I don't really like spoilers. I kind of like to make my videos um um. Exciting, like uh, the plot, because I don't really like uh, let's play some walkthroughs that other people do, where they kind of spoil everything and they don't really care. Because I find it when I watch let's play some walkthroughs of games that I haven't played before, I find it so it's really exciting to watch like a game because if the plot and the story in the game is good, because you don't know what's going to happen. So it's really fun to watch it, but it's not fun when the less player like ruins uh, the whole story. That's not fun. So that's why I'm not doing that. Because who would want to watch that either way? No one. I wouldn't. Oh no, we have to use um, the Galatonium uh, gadget. I don't. I don't know what I feel about that gadget. Like, it's fun to bounce on the gelatonium, but I hate when those small uh, robot things try to eat up the gelatinium. Because they are so annoying. They are a bit cute, but they're still annoying. You can still be cute even though you're annoying. 
just like me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So bust out the gelatonium, the gelinator, fill it up, and then we can put it on here and bounce up. Here we go. On our way. It's a bit fun to bounce on them. It really is. But uh, the Grashing Line series has so many weapons and gadgets and all of that stuff that it's hard to decide if you like uh, a new gadget. So actually this planet is really huge. So I will actually look on the map. It's really huge and as I said it really gives me the whole dinosaur thing. With of course the dinosaur looking things running around and also the skeleton looking things lying around here. Oh no, I hate these enemies. There's one planet in this game where there's loads of these and I actually remember when I recorded this back in December of a really long time ago that I died so many times from these and it was so annoying and I got so pissed. Like almost like I gave up the whole let's play. Like they're so annoying. I really hate these enemies. Okay, the Shark Reaper version 4. Yeah, I really hate these. These are definitely one of my most hated enemies from the whole Ratchet Bank series. They're so annoying. Perfect, now you can go up here. Grab the bolts and the ammo. I'm going to need that because there is loads of enemies lying around. Oh, it was too late. Oh, now, here we go. Let's get over here. I think this building looks really nice. I like how the vines and uh, the plants are like crawling up the building. I really like those types of building buildings. Some of them are quite creepy. I was actually in um, a city like a few weeks ago looking at uh, some interesting buildings. It's actually really creepy buildings and they had like vines and plants crawling up them. And it was like uh, those buildings was like aband abandoned, abandoned um, hospitals. So of course it was more creepy than beautiful, but uh, it was really interesting to to look at actually. It really was. So that opened up that door. Oh, I don't like these either. They shoot a lot of fire at us. So it takes them out quickly. Oh my god, these are all just hoiling. It really sounds like I'm getting annoyed by every single enemy that's coming up. But yeah, I really do find these enemies annoying. I really do. So there's a weapon up there, or is it a gadget? I don't know. We'll have to jump up and get it so we can see. Oh yeah, it's this one. This is the Alpha Disruptor. It's um, probably the strongest weapon in the game. And that's why um, it has so little ammo. Because you can't use it that much. But it's really strong, like one shot from that um, will like kill almost everything. So it's a good weapon to use at especially boss battles. It's really great at boss battles, like at the end of the boss battle when the boss has just a little health left and you have little health left. Use that weapon, just take him out quickly and you will be finished. It's really good to use that boss battles and stuff like that. Oh, it's another one of these. Yeah, as you can see, the weapon is really good. 
But of course, it's only version 1 now, so we need to upgrade it for it to be really powerful. But yeah, it killed it really quickly. Even though it's only version 1. So we need to upgrade it that more. I, I will use it more on like big strong enemies because there's no need to use it on smaller enemies. Like throw away my ammo on smaller enemies with the Alpha Disruptor. Not gonna do that. And I'm really trying to get the Sharp Reaper up to version 5 now, like it's really close and I don't really like using the Sharp Reaper. Maybe only on small enemies, like if there's a lot of small enemies around you, then I can use it, but I don't really like using it. Oh, uh, can these guys piss off? I don't like them. In here, this looks really creepy with the skeleton. And get the Raritanium! As I said before, I really love the whole pirate um, theme going on in the future series, especially in Tulo Destruction. I really love it. I I really like, like pirates in general, like the theme of pirates, I love it. Maybe that's why I love Pirates of the Caribbean that much. Um, what else was there to get? Oh, use the decryptor again. Some of the decryptor puzzles are a bit longer and more difficult. As you can see, this one looks a bit tricky. But if you take your time and um, really study it, uh, then it will be okay. Just take your time and look at it. And I lost because it moved. Yeah, that's the... Um, Annoying thing about the decryptor is that the sixth axis isn't like um, it's not that trustworthy. Like it can move at like any given time, and yeah, it's a bit difficult sometimes to use. And I'm not like that uh, calm with my hands, if that's how you say it. So it can move really, really easily. But there we go. And now, to meet an old friend. Oh, dear. oh, it's you two. Almost didn't recognize you in high def. <laughs> oh, you're just in time. I'm about to try out my revolutionary high-speed intraplanetary transportation gizmo. <laughs> oh, I take it you was expecting something else. Something capable of vaporizing an entire planet of whatchamacallits? Cragmites. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it don't exist. Uh, what? Friend, I've been everywhere in this universe and beyond. Believe me, there's no device like that. That don't mean what you're looking for ain't there. Say, do you happen to need a three and three quarters cubit hexagonal washer? I seem to have a spare. Here you go, just in case. <laughs> well, good luck, friends. Hmm. I am starting to wonder if the Kragmites were ever vaporized at all. Perhaps they were just moved. Ratchet, Clank, where have you two been? I need you at the arena, Chop Chop! I think I may have found another C-L-E-U-W-4? It's really cute that we see the plumber in like almost every single Russian land game. I love it. It's a really good addition. And I love the fact that he said he didn't almost recognize us in HD. Obviously that's a reference to... This is the first game of the Future series and it's the first Russian land game on the PlayStation 3. Which actually came out a really long time ago, like over 10 years ago. So it's the first time you see them in HD, and that's a bit funny, actually. So there's a lot more souls you can get on Panzer Gasso. You can um, get them if you want, trade them for bolts to the smuggler. I think I have one soul that I can trade. Um, so yeah, you can land on top of these dinosaurs if you want to. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will try to 
get some more videos out and not having like big breaks. So I'll see you guys in the next part for part 10. Uh, see you guys then. Bye bye.